that it can't Rostov. That's who goes off to the head of affairs. It's a real melee up in the lead with Blue Trail, one of the first to show. New Comedy holds position. First view on the wide outside. Handy, but covers some ground. Will probably drop in and hope to get across. Then comes Green Team, who races away in fourth. Good tidings, now being passed by Magical Morning. May Danny is in the blue and white silks, passed by Brilliant Lights on the wide outside, also venturing forward. Count Rostov in the maroon silks. May Danny conceded a few places. Morden's behind midfield. Felix has gone past a few. Zaman races with two behind. They are Anavil, who races out towards the back of the field. And Falling Shadow is last from one of the deep draws, taken as medicine, and races at the end of the field about 10 to 12 lengths off the leader as they make their way towards the corner of the track with about 1,100 metres left to run. And the leader is Blue Trail. Has the lead but is enthusiastic up in front and has it by about a length and a half of a new comedy who races in second. Further length and a half away to first view who holds third then on the outside is brilliant light green team against the fence and magical morning is one off the fence good tidings has been given a few reminders count rostov midfield may danny for company a length and a half away to morden then came Felix. Zaman's at the outside of that group. There we go, a length away to Annaville. She's second to last. Falling shadow at the end of the field. And Blue Trail has burst away. Blue Trail being brave. Up in front by six at the top of the straight. The others are now forced to get urgent. New comedy. Magical morning. Then comes first view. Further back, Count Rostov. And Green Team was further back. But 300 metres left to run. And Blue Trail in command by nearly eight lengths. Blue Trail has command each and every yard it's an absolute masterclass from Blue Trail, he won that with ease, second goes to Magical Morning, third tight, maybe May Danny over Green Team, Count Rostov fifth Anavil, then came Felix, further back to Falling Shadow, New Comedy, then came Brilliant Light, Zaman was at their outside, first view, then came Morden and Good Tidings Success comfortable then for Blue Trail, who carted his way to the front and round the home turn, and they couldn't catch him. Five to one. James Doyle, Charlie Appleby, Godolphin Blue. Magical morning. Well done to Amy Murphy, David Egan in the saddle. 22 to one in second place. And the photo for third did go to May Danny, 28 to one. Falling Shadow was disappointing in finishing seventh, but that didn't matter too much for Charlie Appleby because he had the winner with Blue Trail, and after the race, he spoke to Rishi. Charlie Apple will be after a winner, uh, but Charlie, I have to say, slightly surprised by the manner, the margin of victory, um, considering how keen he was in the early part of the race. Were you surprised at all by what he's done tonight, Blue Trail? Yeah, very much so. Uh, look, he's a horse that uh, has had or shown his ability, and uh, you know, he, he brought a good level of form over here, really, from Europe as well. Um, but his first one out here was very, very keen there, and you know, Mikel just said he's, you know. He's, he was never got into a, a rhythm at all because he actually over raced. Um, from t tonight's draw, I said to Doyle there, you know, if you can just get him out and just get a posse from that draw. Uh, and James said, once I gave him a hoof out the gates, he said, and all of a sudden he latched on. He said, he was running away with me, to be honest with you. Um, he didn't realise he was as far clear as he was um, turning for home there. And uh, yeah, it's just one of those races. It was probably just bro broke down halfway through, really, and he got, he got, the, got the lead on him. I mean, he's broken the track record. You said he had a decent level of form in Europe, certainly. James, afterwards speaking, say that you know, he's a high-class horse. So what does this performance tell you about him for the future, and how much of it do you believe is real for the future? I think going forward, uh, uh, probably a, you know, a few of the riders behind wish they'd probably, probably laid up a little bit more potentially going forward. Uh, they won't allow, allow it to happen again uh, in the future, should we say, but... Uh, it was one of those, I say, one of those races. It was a, a funny race to watch, and you could see from sort of halfway how it could potentially d develop. Because, like I say, he's a horse that's got an engine. So, uh, you know, once he had slipped the sort of slipped the lead he had, uh, he was always going to be hard to peg back. Um, he's probably going to put himself into, you know, pattern company now, and uh, you know, deserves to have a crack at it. But he's just unfortunately he's very hard on himself, so he's not the easiest horse to uh, to manoeuvre around there. Would you consider, therefore, if you're thinking of passing coming, maybe dropping back a furlong, maybe someone like the Jebel Hatter even? Uh, was that too ambitious? Look, it's probably not too ambitious. I mean, uh, at the moment, thankfully, Rich, we've got a few others for it, so, yeah, he might, he might, he might get in the way. How's El Sahel, by the way? Yep, he's in great order. So uh, his uh, obviously plan is to come here on Super Saturday, uh, the seven furlong uh, Rascor, and uh, he's in great order and looking forward to yeah, running him back.
Okay, I'm going to ask you about two more horses. They both run against each other again tonight. Uh, Lazuli and Man of Promise. Um, for once, the draw is not that kind, particularly to Lazuli, who's in one. Um, how do you see that panning out? And obviously, over five furlongs, Lazuli favoured over Man of Promise. Yeah, uh, firstly, like I say, the draws, we, we always sort of get it in our mind. You'd love to be drawn down on the fence there for sure, but um, I'm going to tell myself now, I'm a believer in... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to be drawn where the pace is, and he's round the right horses, um, hopefully. Um, look, he's the class animal in the race. Uh, you know, he's tried and tested many times over this uh, course and distance, so uh, he ticks all the boxes there. Uh, Man of Promise have fought, ran a very gallant race on his first start over five here. He's a different horse this year. We, normally, we wouldn't have backed him up as quick as we have, but... Uh, He's surprisingly come out of that race from a couple of weeks ago very well. So, uh, again, we uh, thought we would let him... Uh, he's coming towards the end of the carnival here now, so uh, he's not got much mileage on the clock. We thought we'd let him have a, have a spin up there and see how we get on. No, no choosing between the two, just hope... Or would you uh, uh, be in agreement that Lazuli is the one to be? No, in agreement. You know, William, that, that we spoke about, he's the horse. He, like I say, he's tried and tested over this uh, course and distance, and so uh, you know, he, he's the one they've all got to beat, realistically. Well, um, Charlie, well done with Blue Trail. Best of luck with the other two horses and uh, may the success of the carnival continue. Thanks very much, Richie.